Show number 339. This Otaku's Life. Recently, there was a new TV series that happened here in the U.S. called The Orville. And I think, like most of us suspected, it was going to be like Galaxy Quest, but I think we're wrong. Yes, there's going to be occasional Seth MacFarlane humor in it, but I think it's got a lot more going on. The only aesthetic that kind of bothers me is that it sort of has this Star Trek Fisher-Price-like quality in its color palette. I guess I'm waiting for the day for it to be just a teensy bit grittier. Maybe then it will feel a little more grounded. I don't know how to feel about it yet, but I know I like it well enough. Personally, I've filled the void with many other things, like Stargate series, now the Orville, and even for a short period of time, we all filled it with Firefly. So I'm okay with alternatives to Star Trek. I'm okay with the things that are imperfect about Star Trek. Don't know if the new Star Trek that is only available on CBS All Access in the US is going to be better. Most importantly, is it worth $120 a year? Thank you everyone once again for listening and downloading and yeah, I, I think I am enjoying the Orville. I've only seen the second episode and so uh, I think like all things, if it's going to be great Fox is going to cancel it. Uh, with that said, uh, if you've seen the Orville and you have an opinion uh, please share it. You can do that by reaching out at thisotakuslife at gmail.com. You can hit us up on YouTube and Twitter at thisotakuslife. You can hit us up on Instagram and Snapchat at OG Networks. And last, we have websites, ognetworks.tv and this is So thank you everyone once again for listening and downloading and until next week, have a good one.